We are the shopping couple WL. If you have been following our ventures, the next town we're heading to is Exmouth. From Carnarvon to Exmouth, it's less than four hours drive. The first thing we did was head to Fourth Craft Brewery. We had lunch and a refreshing beer. There is a mall with two IGAs, a few shops and restaurants. Across from the mall is a water playground. It's a good place for the kids to play and cool down. Time to head to our hotel. We stayed at Exmouth Escape Resort. For the first night, we stayed in a one-bedroom apartment. You will have the basic amenities provided as well, like coffee, tea and sugar. Before sunset, we decided to check out Town Beach. In this part of the beach, no dogs are allowed. At the Ninglu Centre, you can visit the Aquarium and Discovery Centre. You do need to purchase tickets and they can be bought online or at the centre. Adults are $19, children 5 to 16 years old are $14 and concession are $14. In the History Gallery, you'll learn about the history of Exmouth. In this cycling room, you can experience what it was like during cycling vets in 1999. The next room we're heading to is the Rift Gallery. Can create a fish and release it into the virtual aquarium. About 300 meters from the Ninglu Center is the Big Prawn. We had to head back to the hotel to move to a two-bedroom apartment. Let's take a walk to the swimming pool. As you can see, there are two pools here. About 19 k's out of Exmouth, or about a 15 minutes drive, is Fleming Head Lighthouse. The lighthouse was operating from 1912 to 1969. It's a popular place to watch the sunset and whale watching. If you do decide to come here to watch the sunset, I recommend that you come here early. If you intend on having a few drinks while watching the sunset, make sure you have a designated driver. We didn't have any drinks, but we encountered an RBT. The next day, we'll be heading to Cape Range National Park. A pub pass is required. You can purchase a day pass, which is $15 per vehicle, or you can use your holiday park pass or annual all park pass. As we already had a pass, we only just had to show it. Our first stop is Yadi Creek. As you can see, there are toilets near the car park. You can go on a boat tour or take a walk along Yadi Creek. Take note that drones are not allowed here. The nature's walk is about 1.2 km or about a 40 minutes walk. At the end of the nature walk is the side of the Gorge Trail. It is a class 4 trail. Some parts of the trail is rough and steep. Can you spot the rays in the water? You can also bring your own kayaks or canoe. Be on the lookout for black-footed rock wallabies. Yaddy Creek was about a 90 minutes drive from Exmouth. There are no shops here to purchase food or water. There is a picnic area not far from the car park.
This is the beach area of the creek mouth. You can swim or fish here. The next area we're headed to is Turquoise Bay. It's about an 80 minutes drive or 25 kilometers. It's one of Australia's renowned beaches. It's a fantastic area for snorkeling. It's a drift snorkel spot. You need to enter the water on the southern end and let the current take you over the reef. Unfortunately, we couldn't do the snorkel as we had to rush back for a tour. Do take care whilst driving as there could be animals crossing the roads. We had a sunset cruise booked with Exmouth Diving Centre. They will pick you up and drop you back. You will be informed of your pickup time. Some snacks, drinks, beer, champagne will be included. Or you can BYO your own drinks and snacks. We were lucky to spot a couple of whales. The next day, we booked a Ninglu Eagle tour with Three Islands World Shark Dive. You will be picked up and dropped off too. They will provide you with a wetsuit and all snorkeling equipment. All you have to bring is a towel, hat, bathers, camera and seasickness pills. You will be provided with the photos that they've taken and this will be emailed to you. On board, morning tea, lunch, coffee, tea and water is provided. We had a morning and afternoon snorkel. If you're not too confident in the water, they will assist you. My partner, who wasn't very confident in the water, was guided to see the fishes and the ray. After morning tea, we went in search for manta rays and humpback whales. We were very lucky to spot this playful baby humpback whale. After lunch, we had another snorkel before heading back. I highly recommend Three Islands Whale Shark Dive. Their service was impeccable. Thank you Amy, EJ, Chantel and Max for an unforgettable experience. It's our last night in Exmouth. The next town we're heading to is Monkey Maya. Don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell and like our video.